Hey everybody, we just decided I would get on here for just a few minutes and do a couple of little missions or something like that. Um, tonight, Niobe is uh, finishing. They're going to, they're going, they're doing their, uh, their final hours probably right now, um, if not already done. Um, <clears throat> at midnight, where LP is, if you know who LP is, Larry Higgins, he's the the founder, writer of uh, Niobe. So if you can get on Kickstarter and, and get in there, get that done real quick. Um, I said I was going to go to this town. I went to this town. Uh, let's see. I guess I can go. I don't really know what I want to do here because there's the there's that weird mission here where you have to go and find something, find a lost kid or something. It's kind of weird. So what I'm probably going to do is what is that dude doing? There's a dude in the water over here. What is he doing? Ready? I'm this damn war has cost my fault. Okay, that's Some Jacko. It's yeah. like, uh, Mel Gibson. Not sure what to do with that. Harvest some death bell. Ooh, I'm way too far out of from getting death bell. <clears throat> I'm only fifth level. So I am not staying here. I wanted to get up here and make it to this town and then uh That was my goal. I did my goal. I'm gonna go back to the safety of White Run here. In just a minute, because uh, some of the monsters out here are way too much for my own level character. I say that, I've only encountered a mud crab. I'm kind of a scavenger, I like to collect kind of collect everything I can, especially at this low level right now, I am, I'm going to go back, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to uh, mess around, mess around in white run a little bit, there's some things you can do out there, there's a, uh, a, a marauder's den, or a, uh, it's not a marauder's den, it's a, uh, something did that you can go through that, that's real uh, good experience and it's I mean, it's not easy but it's not exactly hard either and again I'm trying going to try to end up going the uh, the way of the mage so I think I'm going to be collecting a lot of stuff and selling it so I'm going to try to get to this marauders den hopefully how to jump. Forgot how to jump. <clears throat> so yeah, so if you can get to Kickstarter and uh say hi to Larry. Um there's a thing on there called Niobe. It's the fourth um I think it's the fourth magazine the fourth comic that he's put out. Um but you can get the first ones and there's a there's a tier on there that you can go <clears throat> you can get only the first one if you're only interested in getting the first one, you know, because you haven't read it or anything. You don't know what it's about. But I'll guarantee you that you'll like it. It's it's a good comic. Well put together. Well drawn. There's a guy named Steve Blue. Um, I butcher his name every time I try to say it. <coughs> oh, okay, see how we get it. Um, he's the uh, artist, and uh, he's just, I mean, just amazing. The whole comic's amazing, but he's amazing. Um, I think LP said that next time, next, uh, Niobe that he was putting out, he was going to have a, uh, a, well, a very popular artist do the uh, cover for him, 
for it, but he can't exactly tell us what it, who he is, or she is yet. I say he, you know, completely knowing it could be either male or female. Um. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just going to kind of... around seeing what I can see. I did, I sat down and actually did some art for the first time in a long time earlier. I wanted to do some, uh, not some marker for something, I don't remember why this is here. I did some art for some, uh, oh yeah, this might be the Smokers Den. Um, <clears throat> did some art for, uh, if you don't know, I'm part of the Unboxing Bros. I'm one half of the Unboxing Bros. And, uh, did some artwork for for uh, for us. It's uh, kind of a bold move, but it's a move. Uh, when you see it, you'll understand. Oh, okay, self retreat. Once you see it, you'll understand why. If you've ever seen any of our videos, you know that at the end of the at the end of it, we sing a song, and it's very close to another song that's very famous. And uh, we're just kind of waiting for a cease and desist letter from uh, a major company saying, hey, stop using our song. So that's what this is about. Oh, okay. I didn't have to kill anybody. These guys are already dead. Search this minute. Alright. Okay. Um, if you play on survival mode on this, then you get a. Uh, then you have already been through here um if you play on survival mode here you have to you uh you have to eat you have to stop to sleep which really sucks whenever you uh later on when you you do the werewolf thing because you technically can't stop and eat i must have already been through here because there's a man in chief okay so i have been through here um i don't know why i'm sneaking then so I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. But uh, but you have to you have to do all that. You have to eat and, and drink, and you have to sleep. And you can lose, you know, if you don't hydrate enough, you can lose life points and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't played the mode yet, but I do plan on it eventually one day. Matter of fact, I could probably technically I could turn it on now and show show y'all what it's like but um I'm gonna focus on trying to get out of here for a second because I'm not really sure. Okay, I gotta find the way out. These mushrooms you can pick them up. And again like I said I am trying to uh possibly go way up the mage so I am trying to collect stuff. Uh, stuff, and I'm just gonna kind of sit here and kind of just explore. And I'm waiting on my bro to write me or call me. More than likely, he's at home asleep because he's had a rough couple of days. Been a rough week for him, so I'd be very surprised if I do see him. But who knows? You never know. Might throw on some music in a few minutes and just kind of chill and just walk around. Basically, all I'm doing anyway. Um, been on for nine minutes. No viewers. Not even a troll. Which is unusual. So that was the marker for a. Oh, there's a giant. I don't think I can take it on a giant yet. So later on in the game, you find out what these things are up here. I won't spoil it for anyone, just in case y'all haven't seen this game. Which I don't know how you haven't. You would have had to have been under a very heavy rock that was soundproof. I don't know about this game. Run down this deer. Run, deer, run! They can climb the wall. Um, so this right here that I'm walking up on. <coughs> this thing 
Oh, okay. Never mind. That, that's not what I thought it was. Um, I actually don't want to go in there. I think that's a later on quest that I don't really want to do that right now. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. These guys are good. And of course they're coming after me because why would they? Here we're looking. There's an issue with me. That more dude was shooting at me. That chest right there is really hard to open even at higher levels. <laughs> These guys are like shy guys, they're not really, they're coming all the way around to come get me, and I'm moving down here waiting on them, where's the thing, where's the bridge part, see if he's up there, yeah, oh, wait, kill, yeah, you can search, Skeletons, sometimes they'll have gold on them, sometimes they'll have uh, weapons, like this one has a garnet, garnet, an iron shield, and an old sword. Um, one little word of advice, if you get a shovel, keep a hold of it because you won't get a chance to get a shovel later on. Uh, shovels are very hard to find, I'm not sure what the deal is, I don't know, I'm sure if you throw it away if it stays away or what, but it uh you don't get a chance to get another shovel, so keep the shovel if you get one. Don't sell it, even though you're tempted to sell it. And sell it. Um I'm not moving up there because that thing right there, this zombie board thing pops out of, and it's no fun. Move on down the road and go this way. Still no viewers. That's alright. Don't need them right now. So I'm just walking around right now. I won't be on much longer actually. I'm probably gonna be on maybe maybe another fifteen minutes if, if that. See what's going on YouTube. I'm going on YouTube. Yep, Unboxing Bros is live. Funko Steve playing some Skyrim. <clears throat> so, what I'll do is I will. Okay, it's night. So, the difference between the monsters during the day and the monsters during the night is pretty significant. There's some mean things that come out at night. Especially mid levels, not higher levels, not lower levels, mid levels. <clears throat> There's some stuff that you do not want to run into at lower levels, that's for sure. All this cabbage and stuff, I mean you can take it and eat it. Look at that look at the graphics on that. It's amazing to me. You always gotta look around, especially at night, because those things will bad things will sneak right up on you. Oh okay. What up, Hickey two seven seven? What up? Um, do I know you? I mean, I know you were, you were with us the other day. Um, but some of your comments were kind of familiar. I was just wondering if maybe you knew us or you're an old friend or something. What's going on? And are you, I mean, with a name like Hickey277, are you guy, girl, or what's going on? Anyway, hi, welcome. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I'm doing nothing but walking around. Okay, I don't want to go up there because that's, that's a death trap right there. Um, I'm just kind of getting some stuff explored. What actually? I might go ahead and sneak up here. That way I can put it on my put it on my uh, map. Um, I'm waiting on my I'm waiting on Mike to uh, write me to tell me what he's doing tonight if he's doing anything. He's had a rough week, uh, some late nights, 
so I imagine he's not doing anything tonight. I imagine right now he's probably at home asleep. I right, see, so yeah. I want to get out of here because as soon as I walked up, I alerted. If you catch some of these things. Oh, cool. Oh, man, we love Alan Flannery. Yeah, he's he's cool. I was, uh, if Alan ever got on here, I would, I would, uh, switch over to, uh, um, Fallout for him, because <laughs> he's, he's been wanting me to do, he's been wanting me to, uh, broadcast Fallout. Um, with this, like I said, I'm not really doing anything right now. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go back to Riverwood. I think it's Riverwood, the first town that you go to, and get some, uh, get a couple missions. I think I have a couple missions, but they're like, join the Imperial Legion and something stupid like that. From Ireland, oh God, man, that's, I envy you, Ireland's beautiful. I was in the military, so I've been all around the world, but. Everyone got a chance to go to Ireland. Would have loved to actually gone there. Could have. I mean, we have. Okay, so I'm sneaking. Oh, it must be. To get on this. Oh, I love it. I'm doing that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, we have some. Uh, in the military, you you have uh, chances to get some pretty cheap flights in and out of places. So. I could have went anywhere, but uh, I'm not a travel type person. I'm I'm kind of a home body, home body when it comes to stuff like that. Let's see what this is. That's what I thought you were. And you are whoa, a bunch of them here. Uh oh, Scooby Troll! Oops. Um, it's best to, to find a find some little ones like this right here and let them hit you. No, I'm uh, I'm on PS4, so I'm not playing any mods or anything. Um, the Skyrim that I got came with all the extras, so it's got like Dawn Guard on it, and I guess I, you can get married in this and stuff. Uh, my other character on my other account, he actually uh, he. Um, Actually, has some kids adopted and stuff, so. Well, what are you playing? You playing mods? Energy. Apparently, you have to have uh, energy. You play on. I guess the mod, I mean, I, I think you can play mods, I mean, even on PS4 and, you know, Xbox and all that, but, uh, I haven't figured out how to put them on, and I know there's some cool yeah. mods out there, like, there's one where it's, like, Macho Man Randy Savage, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the dragons come up. Oh, yeah. Assassin's Creed, the new one? Yeah, that one looks hot. How's that going? Won't you do some live stuff? If you were to get on there live, I'd, I'd follow you. I'd, I'd get on there and watch it. Yeah, like I said, I've beat this game like twice. Uh, maybe even three times, I'm not sure. But uh, I haven't played uh, survival mode yet. I think what I might do is I might, once I get a high enough level, I might turn this into uh, a survival mode. Sounds fun. I mean, you can change it at any time, so I don't like it. I can always change it back. I guess survival mode is quite a bit harder because you don't hear a lot of people doing survival mode. Now, survival mode in, in uh, Fallout, I played uh, Fallout Vegas, 
love Fallout Vegas, man. Now that's a game that I can just sit there and play and play and play and play and play. And play. Yeah. I agree, and I, I don't know what the benefits are of it, other than it makes the gameplay a little bit more realistic, and you know you actually kind of fear for your your safety there a little bit. But uh, so I mean, yeah, I might switch over to survival mode. I don't know. Yeah, I agree, man. Freaking New Vegas, man. I, I mean, that's now that's a game that I've played and played and played and played. That game, I mean, I had I got the sniper rifle from the uh, the big dinosaur, I think it was. The big dinosaur, was it? The, the guy in the dinosaur? I killed him and <laughs> took his sniper rifle. And, uh, man, that sniper rifle, I could sit off wherever and just pick off, pick off whoever I want. It's pretty funny. I mean, there was one point to where I got so, so power, so high level, and, and had such great uh, mods on my sniper rifle and my, my bullets that I was sitting there picking off uh, death claws in the railroad railroad yard. It was pretty cool because you know those death claws, man. You walk out in that railroad yard and they just start, yeah, boom. Oh no, that's cool, man. That's shoot. That, that's that's me. I quote movies all the time. Have you seen New Jedi yet? We were going to do a uh, a spoiler uh, live broadcast of New Jedi, but uh, I can't get Mike to answer my text or anything. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Uh, he wrote me about 3 o'clock this morning. He goes, man, I just got back from from uh, from the movie. I, I only got to see up to where uh, Leia, uh, where uh, Luke uh, appears to, or comes up to Leia in, in the mine. And then uh, I fell asleep and we had to leave because it was getting too late. And I was like, man still so much that I want to tell you and I can't because you know there's so much that happens after that so we, we still can't do a spoiler yet but I'm, I was kind of hoping maybe he'd come over tonight and we could at least do a spoiler on what we know he said it's already been spoiled for him that his, that his son <laughs> spoiled it for him and he was mad so <laughs> I was like damn remember Damien he keeps calling his son Damien which the kid's name is Chris he's a good kid he just, uh, he's, he's preteen, so he's got that preteen thing. I got, got a teenager here. Oh, man, they're rough. You married, got kids? I'm coming up on some elephants, looks like. I don't know where I am, actually. Okay, I got to go down there. To go up here, I think. I think this is the castle where, if you come up on this castle at either fifth or sixth level, then a dragon will fall out, and these guys will help you fight it, and, and you get you know credit for it. Then you get your first dragon soul or whatever. I'm still having trouble trouble with these. Uh, controls here. If I don't play this game for a while and then I pick it up again. <laughs> that you know of, right? <laughs> <coughs> I wish I would have stayed in college. I've, I've gone to college, what, three times? I've got two diplomas and I'm still struggling trying to find a job. I was an idiot. I wanted the Air Force and 
Man, when you get in the when you get in the military, it kind of spoils you. You get out of the military and you're thinking that it's still going to be like like it was in the military. It's not. <laughs> oh shoot. Probably should not walk up on that. I better should look where I am on the map. I ought to go a little up. Okay, so I'm still still good. Let's level up. Let's go with it. I served 13 years, man. It's, you know, it's. I mean, I met my wife there, so I, you know, that's one good thing that came out of it. And, you know, all my kids were were born. Well, two of my kids were born while I served. Uh, one was born after. They've changed these. Um. But uh. Yeah, I guess I don't really have any any big regrets for it. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. You know, uh, you do what you got to do, man. I I, uh, I was just out of a marriage. I got married young, and I was kind of silly with it. We wasn't ready to get married, and we definitely weren't, weren't compatible. <laughs> uh, and uh, to get away from here, uh, the south of the South of America, uh, you know, the butthole of America. I had to, uh, I had to do something. I had to get out. Of, I had to get out of town, man. And uh, that's the best way I could think of it. To to give you a little clue, I, the first time I ever rode on a, on a, a real plane was going to basic training for my for my military. That's how bad it was. All right, now there is a okay. There chest. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, because I did it earlier. I've been down here. Okay, here's the... What is this? Don't remember this either. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss. Interesting. And it's got enough so are you actually gaming right now, or what are you doing? <laughs> I know you're not just sitting there watching me. But enough talk. Come, won't you share a drink with me and my companions? No, I'm going to probably get out of here, dude. Cheers, my friend. May Cheers. Your find you Try to go up here so that I can hopefully get, yeah, get, get to these guys and let this dragon attack so we can kill it. Go up. Talk to one of these guys. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's cauldron. Um, there was a time that I would have killed all those rappers and stole their stuff, but I didn't. It's five in the morning in Ireland. Wow. That's crazy. And you're just finishing up? Uh, you're a true gamer. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't planning on staying on here very long, actually. I'd be a lot definitely not past. Disrespect an hour. You look tired, friend. 
Abandoned mirror has beds for rent. How come we keep some of y'all tired? I just rested. I guess not. Alright, so. My wife went to the store this way. Oh, bartender, huh? Oh, cool. Cool, yeah, you're the only one on here, so. <laughs> I guess nobody else is interested in watching somebody play Skyrim. I mean, Skyrim's kind of an old game, I guess. I mean, I don't guess. I mean, I know it is, but it's. I play this. I play Fallout, and I play Call of Duty a little bit. And my kids have gotten me into playing uh, a game called Terraria, which nobody wants to watch somebody play Terraria. That's uh, that's awful. That'd be awful to watch. four times? There he is. Come on, dude. Love computers. <laughs> A little waste. Alright, man. Uh... Take care of yourself. Thank you for uh, stopping in. I do appreciate it more than you, more than I can ever tell you. Um, tell uh, tell Alan that I said hi. Tell him that we're gonna uh, try to do some more live stuff. Try to do weekly stuff. So. Well, that deer is all kinds of gone. Yeah, I'm not going to be on here much longer, honestly. Especially since my brother's not answering his phone, so. Who knows what he's doing and where he is. That look like it's going to be a streaming type of night for me. Probably going to get something to eat. Settle down. Watch some Big Bang Theory and go to bed. I think I want to try to kill her. There's another deer. And some magic. I like my gloves. Those are cool. Let's find a crab to use magic on. 
Yeah, crabby, 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 crabby. Yeah, when the wife comes home, I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Go to sleep. Fall asleep, watch this one. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. It's the first time I've ever had a character who did not have a pick <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on. Who's on? State your name and business. <laughs> Alex McGowan. McGow McGowan, I'm sorry. McGowan. What's up, buddy? Or buddy? Play a little Skyrim here. Just kind of chilling. Not uh, doing much. Don't even have any missions to do right now. Just gotta run around, test out some magic. I'm the uh, reptilian race. I can't remember what they're called. The ones that can get in the water and breathe in the water and stuff. It's one that I haven't played before. I've played all of them. I've played, yeah, I've played pretty much all the races that are worth playing. First one I ever played was the red, red bone or red guard, whatever they call it. Red bone. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all play Skyrim? Oh, why is your fall? Why is your fall apart? I'm not really a Skyrim YouTuber. I, I. Uh, I pretty much broadcast when I can. Uh, I broadcast, uh, well, this is the only thing that I've started broadcasting here lately. I broadcast uh, Fallout, uh, the new Fallout, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then uh, me and my, my brother, we have a uh, little channel called Unboxing Bros where we unbox monthly subscription boxes and Kickstarter stuff and uh, Funko Pops and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing. Everybody complains. Wow, 
about because they're too good or you cuss or what they got to com complain about. Third party complaints. I didn't know that third party complaints could shut you down. That's not cool. So trolls come on here all the time and, and mess with you. Can they shut you down? That's crappy. But yeah, so uh, we have a thing where we get on here and we do the... Doing circles? No, uh, I'm not using a mod. This is all. This is, is is when I bought the game. It had everything with it. It had all the uh, it had all the uh, updates to it, like the Dawn Guard and all that stuff where you can get married and you can have kids and buy houses, multiple houses and stuff like that. And uh, that's that came with this game, uh, installed with this game. So I'm just playing on a PS4. I got a PS4. I got a PS4 last year. Whenever I we got taxes in, because I could. So uh, we use it to broadcast, and we use it. I use it to game. My kids use it to watch YouTube. I use it to watch Netflix, that sort of thing. Because I do have a nice big TV, I will say that. Where are you from, Alex? I am doing circles. Sweet. I, I'm actually using my friend of mine's uh, uh, a character, not his character, but I'm using his channel or his his uh, sign-on for this because uh, he is directly connected to our unboxing rows, which we, we broadcast this under them. So, uh, oh, okay, okay, I do that sometimes, I get on here and, and watch people do that. Very curious as to what this note says. I could take his armor. Ultimately, the better armor what I got. But it won't let me. I keep expecting the dragon to pop out of the sky, come down and say hello, but not doing it. So I don't know what to look there. Looks like I'm going to love him doing this. Oh, that deer had gold in it. Not sure how that happens. We were going to do a uh, 
a live uh, spoiler uh, broadcast for uh, the Last Jedi uh, tonight. But my my friend decided that he wanted to go downtown here where where we live and uh, um, I guess it was like a Christmas parade or it's like one of the bowls or something for the football or something. Some kind of parade was going on downtown. And where I'm from, Mardi Gras is, is huge. So anytime there's a parade downtown, it, it's huge here. So I don't blame them. It's free candy, free stuff. Fun times. It's, you don't have to pay nothing to get down there. We have to pay for parking. I work downtown, so I don't have to pay. I'm going to stay away from them, don't I? So what are you gaming tonight, Alex? You gaming it up? Explain the third party thing to me. I, I don't get third party complaints. What were they complaining about? And how does that work? I mean, somebody can just come in and complain about you and they shut you down? That doesn't seem right. Seems like, you know, trolls would come in and shut you down a lot. Please explain. I'd appreciate it. Don't know what's going on here. Alright, I'm going to go, I'm going to pick away and I'm just going to go straight that way because I think I'm doing circles. Annoying circles. <clears throat> and if I don't run into anything in the next three minutes by 50, 50 after, I will uh, go back to Riverwood and I will get a, and I will get a, some missions so that I can, there's a rabbit. My other character, I got another character on, on my channel who's like level, Eighty or something, but uh, he's he's done the the expert oh really and that'll get you kicked off if you play a copyrighted song. That sucks too. And I mean, it's just music. Not like you're making money off of it or anything. You would think there would be stuff that could protect you against that. I, that sucks really bad because I uh, sometimes I'll throw on my Spotify and just put on background music, and you know I have everything on Spotify. Guess I'm just gonna have to go and pick generic music from YouTube or something and put it on there. Just to have background noise. I'm waiting on my wife to get home. She's ran up to the store to get some stuff. She's got a uh, she's got a gathering tomorrow that she's got to cook for, so she's gonna be up for a while. All right, so where am I? Just alerted on something. Sneak increased. So there's something right here. What does that mean? You get money for your videos? How do you do that? Not that anybody would pay to see me play this video. <laughs> okay. What is Alright, I'll take it. I'm sorry, I, I mean, like I said, this is usually, uh, we usually do a live broadcast. It's me and my brother, we, we're the Unboxing Bros. Go check us out on YouTube if you want. Um, we do uh, unboxings and Kickstarter and Funko Pops and stuff like that. So, I mean, if y'all interested in stuff like that, check us out. But uh, 
we don't know anything about monetizing videos or copyrights or anything like that. I've been this way. Jeez, man. I'm definitely doing circles. Um, see, I got those. So we got two viewers. Who's my second viewer? I got Alex here and somebody else. Wow. Well, congratulations on having the 1K. How'd you go down to five? Because you kept getting banned? That sucks, because I got that. Forty-nine subscribers or something like that. On Boxing Bros, we have like three hundred or something plus. But got him. I guess if I keep killing these things off, eventually get some points for them, huh? Oh, yeah, I hear you. YouTube got weird there for a little while, man. You can find anything on YouTube now. Used to be like... Used to be like, uh... Very protected. Now it's pretty open, much open to everything. I need to message my wife and see where she is. Make sure she's okay. You know, I said I was going to go in a straight line. I think I just hooked, hooked it around again. Let's see where I am. Oh, wow. What is this up here? I don't think I want to go up there. I've been there and there. Okay. So I do have... I do have some waypoints. One or two people keep popping in and out. I usually don't have more than one or two, maybe three viewers at a time. Nobody wants to watch somebody sit here and play Skyrim. I try to make it a little educational in case somebody hasn't played this game. Kind of say what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm trying to accomplish here. I mean, you'd have to be pretty bored to sit here and watch somebody just walk around. So, I am going to do what I said I was going to do. I am going to go up over this hill. And if there's nothing up over this hill, then I am going to go back to... Oh yeah, I, I couldn't imagine getting paid to be on YouTube. That'd be great. I'd do it in there every night if I could. If I saw that in my woods, I'd be like, uh, wait, what? But right now I am. Did I kill him? Or did I kill him? I didn't. There he goes. What the hell? Not sure how that happened. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, I I keep saying I'm gonna go back to the town, but now I'm running into stuff. So let me check out these little monoliths over here and see what, if I see anything. I wonder why I don't remember ever having an assassin attack me this this early in the game before. I wonder what what I did different that pissed somebody off. Don't remember killing me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, a uh, couple of broadcasts ago, I uh, took down a uh, small group of uh, Legion guys, people. I'm not going to talk to that guy. I know what he wants. He wants you to join his cause. Screw you. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably about four minutes or so. Five minutes. I'm probably going to get off. It's been one of those nights for me. What I really want to be doing is throwing some dice with my friends. Okay. But, uh, nobody plays D&D &D anymore. How do you... Okay, you told me not to ask. I won't ask. But that's pretty cool. That's damn cool. That's like Mace Windu cool. <laughs> no, I don't have a gun or anything. I know I have uh, crossbows. With my other character, I got a bunch of crossbows. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ooh, blue bounties. Oh, you made a mod for it? Dang. All right, then. Did you hear me? All right, then. Yep, Hale's going back. Yeah, we'll see. I guess you don't have to say that. Fame thinks can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. All right, then. Uh, I remember that little love triangle. You can either tell on them cheating on each other or something. I can't remember what. Now there is... Somewhere back here. River was agreeable here. enough, I suppose. There's a guy with a bow, and he'll train you up until certain levels. For some reason, with all my characters, I always give them bows, and I always make them good with it. I don't know why. I keep saying I want this guy to be magic. Whatever you need. I smear if it's simple. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Until next time. The iron dagger. Take all those. 
Can I mod stuff already? That's well, okay. good armor you've put together. Cool. All right, that's cool. I didn't realize I could mod already. Alright, he wants me to make him an iron dagger. I shall make this dagger of iron for you. Oh, not hide. Shut up. Iron dagger. Jeez. Let me stop the iron. Upgrade it. Can I upgrade it? Can I? So I guess. I'm so military. Why? What clued you in on that? Whatever you need. You looking for a new blade? <laughs> Not bad. But Not it's bad. a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. You used all your pedal. I, I could forge you a war. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Aye. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Take a look. Guess I'm gonna sell. Oh, I guess he wants to be like Until this. next time. I'll make some horror. Some leather. Oh, can't make some leather. Can I make anything? I can't even make hide. Oh, because I used on bone there. What the You looking for a new blade? Looking to protect oh, yourself? So so or I deal some damage? Money! Money! Alright, let's see. Oh, I will sell... Good. How are you doing, Alex? Oh, I actually have some that's magic. Okay, I'll keep that. Go ahead and sell that. Apparel I have. Okay. Let's 
six and seven. Those are better. So I'll slow that. Slow that. Do I really want to go with, with heavy armor though? I almost went in the Navy. Uh, Navy was my first choice. Uh, Air Force was my second choice. Um, when I went back to talk to the person about going into the Navy, said person was not there, but Air Force person was. And an Air Force person talked me into doing it up. So I was like, sure, I'll do it. Why not? I have nothing here. So I did. Alright, so I am now armored. Officially armored, but I am heavy. I have a lot of respect for the Marines. They are, uh, it's a tough crew. I, uh, served with several of them over in, uh, Kuwait when I was uh, across, when I was, whenever I was in the desert. Tough crew. Tell you some stories too. You from up north or southern part of US? Have we talked about this? You just said USA. I'll tell you I'm in the southern part. something north I lived in uh, Minot North Dakota for uh, seven years very very cold met a lot of good people there though I can breathe on water because I'm working in. Whoa! You can ride a Disney Whoa! I've been on for an hour. You've been sitting here with me for an hour. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. That's really cool. I did not think I was going to have any viewers tonight. See a bunch of people pop in for a few minutes and then pop right back out. <clears throat> but you've got to stay here. I appreciate it. I was kind of... My, my buddy would uh, message me back. years were you in the Air Force and where were you stationed? Whoa. No, I did not want to. 
Yeah, I'm about to die. That's not good. Yeah. Maybe I'm not about to die. I've got a bunch of friends that live in Michigan. I mean, a bunch of friends. I just leveled up. Yeah, I know. I was, I'm dumb. I wasn't thinking. And now I gotta go all the way back. It won't put me where I just died. Nah, I'm an idiot. That's the worst thing about this game is that it'll send you back to where your last save was. Well, I mean, uh, any game will. See, yeah. That sucks. Did that mean... Does it mean that I did that already? Let's see. Okay, yeah. That means I didn't sell any of this stuff or anything. I didn't armor up. Yeah. Oh, man. How boring. Really don't want to do all that again. May the gods <clears throat> watch over your battles, friend. Yeah, I got a, like I say, I got a bunch of friends that uh, take a look. Live in Michigan. Bunch of them, actually. Okay, yeah. Shoot, I haven't even upgraded this stuff. Oh, crap. <laughs> nice. Old M4, huh? Mm -hmm. I might have to do something here. So your character's running around with an M4 and Skyrim. That's really cool. Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine. I keep telling him. That's pretty funny. With a knife. All right, man. Well, I'm probably gonna. Uh, well, shoot. I got another viewer. Hello, other viewer. Um, I wish I would have saved that. Yeah, because there's all the stuff right there. I am going to go ahead and end it here, Alex. Um, I will be back on again probably tomorrow night. Um, best case scenario, worst case scenario, it'll be Sunday night. But uh, I know it's Christmas Eve and all. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. 
it was cool of you to hang out with me. Um, I'm not going to do this again. I, I, it's just so boring. Um, hopefully we'll be doing a, uh, hopefully we'll be doing a uh, Star Wars spoiler thing soon. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it up here. The wife is home anyway, so I need to go. So see you people later. Thanks for hanging out.